see your license and your insurance, please. Uh, so you're saying I violated some sort of transportation code? Yes, sir. Speeding. Okay. Uh, I need to see your driver's license and your insurance, please, and we can talk. Okay. Well, I'm, I'm letting you know that I, I'm not here in a commercial capacity. Okay. Uh, I'm not carrying people for a fee, mm -hmm. and I'm not uh, carrying any cargo for a fee. Okay. Uh, I'm actually just traveling. Right. So those laws are actually for commercial reasons, not for personal reasons, not for... Okay, sir, yeah. I, I, I need to see your driver's license and proof of insurance for the vehicle, okay? Okay. I, I don't... There's not a crime that's been committed, so... Yes, yeah, sir, the uh, speed limit here is 65, and your right, speed those, was confirmed over the speed limit. Okay. You're oh. traveling on a public roadway. Okay. Again, that is... Um, make sure we're recording this. Uh, that is for... There you go. That is for a commercial vehicle. I'm not a commercial vehicle. Those okay. speed limits are set for commercial vehicles. Okay. Yeah. So, Can, am I free to go? No, you're not free to go. Okay. I need to see your driver's license. Am I license. under arrest? Technically, this is an arrest. You're okay. not. You are not being okay. placed under if arrest I'm, and going to jail. Okay. If I, if this sir, is a custodial sir, arrest, this listen. is a custodial arrest, right? Okay. What, what's uh, what, what department are you with? Texas Department of Public Safety. Okay. What's, the Texas what's your name? What's your name? I'm Trooper Taylor. Trooper Taylor. Yes, sir. Trooper Taylor. Yes, sir. Okay. Am I under arrest? Is this a custodial arrest? Yes. Okay. Can you go ahead and read me my Miranda rights, please? My Miranda what? warnings. You said I'm under arrest. Okay. That's the law. Is that now? Now I want you to give me my Miranda warnings. For what reason? Because you said I'm under arrest. That's right. Like I said. It's a traffic okay. arrest. It's a traffic stop. Okay. Okay. But the law doesn't differentiate whether it's traffic or, or murder. Okay. If I'm under arrest, then you are required to give me my Miranda rights. Go ahead and give me my Miranda rights. Okay. All right. There's evidence against you in court. You have the right to have a lawyer present to it before and during any questioning by peace officers or attorneys representing the state. If you are too poor to hire a lawyer, you have the right to have a lawyer appointed by the court to advise you before and during any questioning. You have the right to terminate this interview at any time. Now, I need to see your driver's license and your proof of insurance for the vehicle. Okay, so you said I have the right to remain silent, correct? Right. You don't okay. have to say anything. Right. I just I, I need to see your if, driver's license and your right. insurance. Anything anything I say can and be used against me in a court law. Is right. that correct? If I give you my driver's license mm -hmm. and I give you proof of insurance, you can use that against me in a court of law. So why would I want to give that to you? I'm going to go ahead and exercise. Because it is required by law. No. <laughs> you just said I, anything I say can be used against me. Right. So if I give you something, it can be used against me. Okay. Right. Why would I give you something that can be used because against me? Because you, you told me that. Law. No, you told me that was a right. I have the right. So I'm going right. to exercise my right to remain silent. I want my attorney since I'm under arrest. Okay. And I am going to exercise the fact that I can't give you anything because you can use that against me. I'm not trying to use anything against you. Well, I you could, but you could is the thing. You want to read those Miranda rights again? Sir, to operate a vehicle on the roadway, you're required to have your driver's license, okay? Sir? And you're required to follow if I'm the speed under, limit. If I'm, uh, if I'm operating under a commercial reason, okay? Not if I am just traveling. I told you I am just traveling in my pr private conveyance. So okay. th that law does not apply to me. So now you don't have probable cause anymore. Yes, Am I free I to go? I, no, you are not free to go. Okay. Sir. I suggest you call your supervisor right here because you obviously don't understand the law. Sir. You just read me my Miranda rights. Okay. Okay. Listen, I need your driver's license and proof of insurance. The faster we do that, the faster we can both get out of here.
Matthew and Clark will on behalf of the state. The sure. is present out of custody, not represented by counsel. This matter is before the court for the trial conference. My understanding is that he would like to proceed pro se. I would also like to point out that the court defendant did audio and video record his arraignment without prior approval from the court in 1839. As far as I know, has not requested permission from this court to do so today. Thank you. Good morning. Good morning. Could you state your name for me, please? Brian Green. Okay. And Mr. Green, can I confirm that the 351, is it Burchett Road on Alaska, is still a good mailing address? Right. That is correct. Okay. All right. Now, Mr. Green, I see that you've signed off on, let's see, your waiver of the right to an attorney and your Tacoma v. Bishop warnings. Have you read through those? I looked at them, but I still don't understand. I mean, I've got a judicial complaint against the last judge, Judge Weller. She put in a plea for me against my objections and my plea after she had already admitted that innocent to proven guilty is still alive. She wouldn't take my plea and pled for me. So I really don't understand what's going on. I have a few questions about jurisdiction before we proceed. I'd like to ask a few questions because I really don't understand what's going on here. I'll give you some latitude. Okay. Let's see. Now, is this going to be a civil action or a criminal action? You've been charged with obstruction of a law enforcement officer. Okay. So is that criminal, Your Honor? Yes, it is. Okay. It's a gross misdemeanor, and I'm sure Judge Weller advised you of the gross misdemeanor. You could be sentenced up to 364 days in custody and or face a $5,000 fine. And it has been brought by the state. Okay. Let the record of this court show that this action against you is a criminal action. Now, I have another question, Your Honor. The Constitution grants two criminal jurisdictions. One is a criminal jurisdiction under common law, and the other is a criminal jurisdiction under admiralty or military tribunal venue under Article I, Section 8, Clause 17 of the U.S. Constitution. In which of these two jurisdictions does the court intend to try me? And I think that that's an excellent question, and I think that that's a question that the state's going to have to answer because they're the one bringing the action. Do you understand? Oh, yes. Okay. So I think that that's something that maybe that's something that Ms. Clark would probably like to address at the next hearing, and if you want to put that question in writing. But let me back up my truck a little bit here because we're here on a free trial, and you have the right to be represented by counsel, and you have – I just need to make sure you understand that you do have the right to be represented by counsel. If you can't afford one, the one will be appointed for you. I can also appoint – if you're qualified, you can have the Department of Assigned Counsel stand by for you to do the assistance if you feel that you need it. Do you understand that? I understand what you're saying. However, the jurisdiction hasn't been – I believe the proper jurisdiction hasn't been shown yet, and that's what I'm asking for here. Okay. Well, then what we would have to do is put this on – put this back on for a motion hearing to discuss the issue of jurisdiction, and the court goes on the premise that, you know, I mean, jurisdiction is something that can be raised at any time in the proceeding, and the court goes as being impartial. You know, I assume that the state judge can bring this claim – can bring this cause of action, this criminal action against you. So I think it would probably be good to set it for a motion hearing, and you can bring your motion. Does that sound reasonable? Yes, Your Honor, it does. Okay. But I just want to back up again. Do you understand your right to be represented by counsel? I really don't understand much of any of this, and it's all under duress because I don't see a proper jurisdiction. Okay. Well, we can address all that then at the hearing.